Hi everyone, welcome again to a relationship with Python. In this session, I will explain you about what is Python sleep function. So whenever we are talking about multi-threading concept, sleep function always plays a very important role when we want to suspend execution of current thread or given number of seconds. So sleep function suspends execution of the current thread for a given number of seconds. So Python has a module name time which provides several useful functions to handle time related tasks. One of the popular functions among them is sleep function. The sleep function will stop the execution of thread at any point of time when we will mention it. So let's understand the agenda of today's session then we will move further. So first of all we have already covered the basic description about slave function in python then we will go with one program and explain you how we use it in real life. Who's that? I will give you a second program which will tweak with some computed or printed format in while loop then in third program i will show you how we'll use it in local time format so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's begin with python sleep function so as i said python sleep function will stop the execution of thread at any point of time which we have mentioned in our program so let's create one program and see the result then i will explain you how we'll use it so import time is the time of the module which we have already discussed in my previous session so if you don't know about the module date and time module please watch my previous session i will also mention the URL in my description tab so it would be easy for you to refer that. So import time will import the complete directory of time. Let's print this print now once it will print and prove that I will kill this execution. This is printed. Okay. Double quote and then the close. Close this down bracket. Then time dot sleep sleep and we are providing here the time in how many seconds it will sleep. So. 1.8 I am giving sleep time post that will print second part and in this we will print post sleep condition so let's run this now you can see this is printed and after 1.8 seconds, it is printed post sleep condition. Let me increase the timer and we will get this is printed after 11.8 seconds. So this is a sleep we are postponing our execution or the time interval. So you can see it is printed after 80. 11.8 seconds so here the program is printed sus or we can see that suspends or delay execution of 11.8 seconds and it printed the second statement so before python 3.5 the actual suspension time may be less than the argument specified to the time function since python 3.5 the suspension time will be at least second specified so let's create a digital clock and 
print the timer and then we will push to sleep so let's create one program so import time we are going to use this and then while function we are using here while true then print local time equal to time dot local time now in the result section we want response I am giving here the object name as a response time dot str f time so if you don't know about the str of time please watch, watch my previous session of how to use str of time and str of time so that it would be easy for you to understand what is this so let's create in between double quotes we are providing here the modus operandi with i and it's colon then again modus operandi m that is minutes and again it's colon then modus operandi of s that is second with and modus operandi p with some spaces now if we want to call the local time then we are using here post adding semicolon now let's print response and the time dot sleep is one one let's run this code and see what's the result now you can see it is printing same time after a seconds unless and until the condition will match to one. So once it is moved to fifty five here until it will continue to print. So we can compute it and print the current local time inside the infinite loop. Then the program waits for one second. Again, the current local time is printing. So as you can see, it's continue to print unless and until we will not stop. So we are giving here stop. Now, once we will click on stop, then only it will stop printing. Let's change something in second part of the program and see how our result will look like that so we are not changing much here we are just giving some other parameter so here in the print section we are printing response response comma and And equal to in between the double quotes nothing is here then comma flush flush equal to true in the second second statement we are giving here slash r back 
forward slash r and then we are giving here same statement as a verb. So sleep time is same as it is. Let's run this and see the result. So now you can see this printed up to 59 seconds and it will close our loop. So this is our response we are getting. So in this program, the program waits for one second again the current local time is computed and printed. Is the slightly modified better version of the previous program we will get it. So this is how it works in Python programming the sleep function. So basically it we are using to kill the thread which is continuously running or suspended or we can see that adding a delay time in execution. So this is all about sleep function in Python. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider pressing thumbs up and subscribing channel for the more updates. Thank you for watching.